in a record timed third time this year, a hurricane slammed straight into the state of Florida. Our island was devastated by uh, Hurricane Helene, and now we're getting a gut punch with Milton. In more than 150 years, it's only happened five other times. I think the biggest thing is still just to know that there are a lot of threats out there. Multiple feet of storm surge, heavy rainfall and flooding, all concerns from Milton's wrath. But even before the hurricane made landfall, destructive winds lashed the Sunshine State. Officials reporting the most tornado warnings in a day on record. Here is what's left after a tornado destroyed a 10,000 square foot sheriff's facility in St. Lucie County. It happens in a flash. You know, we're in the building not even 50 yards away and uh, it's, it's here, it's gone. And there ain't nothing stopping that, that building coming down. So if your house is coming down on you, nothing's stopping it. In Fort Myers, one family was inside their home when a tornado ripped through their neighborhood. We all started going for the hallway. Didn't even make it there in time. Sorry. Choo -choo, and I heard a piece of glass crack and it sucked the whole roof off and I felt the thing suck me up and I grabbed my kid and my wife and hunkered down. The storm also tore off a part of Tropicana Field Stadium roof. The Ray Stadium is being used as a base camp for debris cleanup and first responders during Milton.